Hi and welcome to Annoyed Kitten and this week's Drachenwald Files, Fika with your fellow Drachenwalder. And today, my prince, we Thank have you. Nordmark's uh, Prince Stigot with us. Hi. Hello. So, um, this has been a long reign. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But, well... I, I actually shouldn't laugh because I mean this is just kind of painful. But uh, we're not going to talk just about the pandemic. Um, let's start with how did you end up in the society, and what is your first real strong memory uh, that kind of was the one that got you hooked? Oh, um, I found the society through fighting. Um, I wanted to be a mushroom eating Viking storming a shield wall in a reasonable safe way. So that's how I found the society. Um, my strong memory that got me hooked, oh, just the people, uh, the epic scenery of uh, all the views, but um, civil wars in, um, uh, Unibory was my first event, and it was the event that Mette got knighted. Uh, oh, yeah. So it was a lot of um, uh, lunchknechts, and they looked their best, and they also got a reenactment uh, society to come and to play as a lunchknecht. So it was kind of a strong impression, and that was my first event. So that was super cool, but it's just one of many that got me hooked. I still How get hooked. That now? <laughs> How long is that now? That's um... 2010. So yeah, just gonna say that that's like 10 years, something like yeah. that. But actually, uh, soon 12 years then. Yeah. And after that, uh, I know that you continue with your fighting. Yeah. Uh, is that what you uh, like doing most in the society? Is that like this is my main thing? I don't think I could live with uh, you know just one part of the society uh, it's a mixture uh, of uh, you know com camaraderie uh, f um, doing epic stuff uh, a bit of uh, you you actually do something just not sitting around and uh, talking to people you do actually do something I'm a kind of hands-on guy um, it's like you can't take one part out of your favorite dish because then it's not your favorite dish so <laughs> Um, yes and no. <laughs> yes and, yeah, we have some questions from our viewers. Hmm? Uh, and the first one is, if you were a drink, what drink would you be and why? Oh, um, wow. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. That's, that's a very good question. It, it depends on the mood, but uh, okay. I prefer a really good gin and tonic, but that's not me as um, what I would be. Hmm. Uh, I would be uh, a Ragnarsh. It's a drink called Ragnarsh. That's vodka, really good vodka. Not the shitty vodka, good vodka, you know, like Russian pure good vodka um, uh, with a uh, cur uh, current flavor you have add some current flavor then you add some sour as a little bit of surprise and then a touch of sugar mm. so you get many layers of it um, and it's a full experience <laughs> <laughs> that's a good answer that that's a good answer so next a little bit of it we're going to start with a little bit of the silly questions fire away uh, if you had magic powers and can take that power into our society, what would your power be? Um, that I couldn't see any modern material. Ooh, I haven't thought about that one. You know, they would just be like a... Yeah, just so... like green screened out. And uh, no, I uh, well, I could uh, transparent more. Uh, like, so if someone walked uh, past with mundane clothes, they would be totally naked, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Not, not, uh, oh, I, I, I get what you mean. I get that sounded mean. bad, but uh, uh, okay. I just want to erase them when I'm in. Yeah. I like the rabbit hole, Alice in Wonderland, rabbit hole feeling. You know, you jump through the rabbit hole and the magic world of yeah. uh, the, the light side of the Middle Ages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got the part that you didn't want to see naked people. You just don't want to see modern material. What is the best thing about sitting on Nordmark thrones? Um, to be able to turn uh, the spotlight to awesome people. Uh, because I regard reigning as you're in charge of the spotlight. So you can turn it to awesome people for awesome stuff they've done. And uh, I really enjoy that, you know, uh, giving credit to people. Uh, it, it's, it's a cool thing. Do you have a craft that you have never tried, but that you really want to learn? Ah, uh, reposé. Uh, metal, uh, metal sculpturing, uh, small. Mm. Uh, not necessarily small, but um, um, in metal, uh, you sculpture um, things on on stuff. Uh, I never tried it. I I lack uh, some chisels, but then I have everything. So um, I might try that very soon. But I've been looking at it for a long time, and I. I have some friends that are really good at it. Um, so, yeah. Well, then you have a good chance to learn, I guess, because you have friends you can actually ask. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, speaking a little bit for, for forgetting the, the, the long list of questions I have, taking some of my own questions. Yeah. So, you became Prince of Nordmark a couple of months before the pandemic broke out, right? August 2019. Yeah. So, yes. So almost half a year. So you yes. actually managed to become, be like in real life prints for yeah. a couple of events. Yeah. And then you got stuck. Uh, <laughs> uh, so how, how has that worked out being on a throne during the pandemic? Well, uh, I miss my friends. Um, because I'm an extrovert, I really, really miss my friends. Um, and I mean, the worst thing in the world is not being able not to have um, events. We kind of forget that. Um, yeah, it's not the worst in the world if you compare it to the real world problems, uh, like people die. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So with that view, um, yes, it's sad. Uh, yes, I miss my friends, but it's for a very, very good reason. So um, I, I can handle it. I have cravings for, for seeing my friends. Uh, so yeah, um, regarding being sitting on the throne is specific for that. It's more monthly newsletters and answering a few emails and I mean, I can take that. That's that's nothing. Uh, I wish I could make uh, um, um, people that are sad a little bit happier. That um, because some are really depressed over this, and I try to make them more happy. But I, I, yeah, I think you are because I mean, I see you posting uh, on social media uh, about you, and you have been holding. Um, some drinking nights uh, yes. with wine and cider testing. Let's not get into that rose cider. Um, <clears throat> hmm. But anyhow, see, this is the thing. You you do stuff to to try and enlighten it for people, and I, I think you succeed for at least some. I mean, I have liked it. Yeah. Uh, Good. So thank you for that, and I, I think that is important to keep in mind that. Well, online is not for everybody, but yeah. we, do what, we, we do what we can, sort of. Yeah. Uh, but, but my question was a little bit just because, I mean, you haven't, 
have you hold a course online? No, I don't think Nordmark have had any online course, right? Yes, uh, and we won't. Uh, because um, social media is a totally new media. Uh, it's a different, it's like different computer games. And I don't want to water out um, the awesome compu computer game of the SA court. Uh, everyone can do as they prefer, of course, but it's not my thing. Um, I think court are really could be magical moments, and it's you can almost taste the electricity at a good court. And I don't think you can do that, for my part at least, online. Um, I don't have strong enough presence to to do that through a screen, um, to get that perfection. So. Uh, we will do other, or at least I will do other stuff online, but I don't want to mix them. Um. I think this is a really important thing uh, to remember that, well, as we already stated, the online thing is not for everybody and you can't translate everything to online. So therefore, if you as a crown doesn't feel it's your thing to hold online courts, yeah. don't hold online courts. But if you think it is okay, uh, like some other crowns, and I know our, 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 our king and queen have done it. Uh, I, I'm happy for them. Yeah, but... I, and, and I, I, I think, have you, have you attended any on, uh, of the online courts that has been? Yes, but very low key. Um, uh, I went to a different kingdom as well, but um, uh, more as a spy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the sneaky spray, Prince. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, when you turn up on online classes, it's, uh, I went to this uh, uh, freshly, uh, I'm new as a knight, what should you think of? And uh, I kind of stopped the whole meeting and the discussion just by entering the room. And I don't want to, I don't want to inflict on good discussions in a bad way, like killing them. So uh, yeah, I snuck into some courts and um, incognito. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is a thing uh, I'm gonna sp 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 take a spin on because having a crown on your head, yeah. especially when it is not like my crown that is just, you know, a cornet, um, People. You have a lot of people having coronets. It's not just but, a coronet. <laughs> but Nordmark's <laughs> mine is still a coronet. Uh, I'm just a countess. But uh, when you're having a crown, when you're a sitting crown, um, yeah. when you're sitting on a throne, entering a room, like you said, it can it can kind of like oh, shit. Now everybody has to stand up and yeah. not, not everybody has to, but but people tend to do it. It's changing for, for me it changed uh, a little bit how i thought about where i was supposed to be uh, and when yeah. you felt kind of the same uh that you, you tend to change the way you event because you suddenly you you are noticed <laughs> yes and you're supposed to be noticed yeah. um, so um I'm kind of a uh, bonkbröl person anyway, so <laughs> I, I don't have a good translation for that. But <laughs> I love that expression. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but sometimes I just want to sneak into stuff and um, um, it's kind of hard. Uh, I just, you know, want to go and check on to stuff and see how it is but I can't do it with this on yeah. uh, I love this but um, it's different um, well uh, we have to remember that principalities is not that common either um, we don't have that many in the known world so um, so it's more it's more oh, I don't know the English word for it but um, uh, it uncommon. Exotic. I think the word we are looking exotic. for is a little bit yeah. exotic. Yeah. yeah. So, um, 
and then on top of that being a Drashamalder and we're mm. exotic anyway in the known world so um, yeah absolutely uh, when we still were doing events uh, where you, uh, did you travel sitting on the thrones to any other kingdoms uh, not other kingdoms no no did no. you travel uh, around in Drashamald uh, I was in Arnemetse uh, at uh, Coronation um, and some uh, Nordmark events. And, and continue to, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to talk a lot about you sitting on a throne because yeah, go on, go on. It's, it's always interesting to see other people's views uh, about how it is to sit on the thrones. Um, me and Sir Morales, so Jarl Morales, um, we spoke about sitting on a throne uh, in his interview, and we were speaking a little bit about uh, retainers, about ladies uh, and ladies in waiting. Yeah. What is your experience of that, having people? Oh, um, you? Uh, I hate doing dishes. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, I always done that. Uh, so. Um, uh, so that's not a hard thing to otherwise to you know not to do otherwise uh, I have to pull myself in the air sometimes and say you shouldn't do that and um, let someone else do it for you I just want people to be happy and have a good time so yeah. uh, I'm not a high maintenance person I can if I get a reasonable, soft, reasonable, dry place, I can sleep, for instance. So uh, I'm low key on that. I'm not here high maintenance, um, but it's practical. Can you please hold this uh, when you're dressing up on your awesome garb and you, so on? Uh, so. Uh, I, I don't have a very strong view on it. I just want to make people happy. Uh, so, Because what, what, what me and Morales discovered when we were sitting on the thrones was that we thought they were more there before we were sitting on the thrones. We thought, thought they were more like, you know, uh, there for, for the show. And then we realized, no, you, you actually need them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, has that been your experience too? That it's, it's actually, like you said, it's, it's practical. You, you can... I mean, it's it's so much stuff you need to have a good court, like scrolls, uh, spears, banners, uh, uh, something to drink if it's a long court because you get thirsty, uh, uh, tokens. Um, so you only have two of these, at least I do. <laughs> so yeah, it's really useful and I really appreciate and thank you all for doing it. If you have not done it, do it. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you off the hook. Uh, speaking a little bit about uh, sitting on the thrones for a while, uh, and and let's move on to a very important questions that I got from one of of the people that usually watch this. What makes you stay in the society? Oh, it's a habit, uh, but. <laughs> I said a little bit about it before. I really enjoy the feeling of jumping through Alice in Wonderland rabbit hole thing. Uh, I love camping events. Uh, I love new experiences. I love nerdy, geeky stuff. If someone has spent a lot of time on something, I want to see it. Uh, or if they're really good at it, sometimes you need to spend a lot of time on it to be good at it, but sometimes you're just awesome. So if whatever you're spent energy or time in, I want to see it. Uh, and that's kind of unique in the essay that you get to see such a broad view of stuff people have spent a lot of energy and time on. So um yeah so uh, people's nerdy and ge geekiness um uh, and what if it's a song or if it's a um, uh, craft or if it's a flat snap whatever it is uh i want to see it yeah 
that's yeah. what gets me to stay in the society. Not everybody is on Facebook, but if you are on Facebook, uh, we have both for crafts and other stuff in our Facebook groups, both the Nordmark and the Drakenwald. Yeah. Uh, where, where we can see other stuff and also actually present our stuff, because I do think that's important that we show it off. Yeah. And uh, this is for uh, putting a spotlight on people's uh, nerdiness. So. <laughs> And that is the thing. I mean, park, not the whole thing, but no. But 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 I was. You just reminded me of a very important thing. Having a crown doesn't mean that you know everybody and and everything they do, right? So you kind of have to. People have to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, so this might be a good time to say. There is a link down there below where you can actually recommend people for awards. And uh, if you know somebody that's doing awesome stuff, recommend yeah. them for an award. Yeah. And that goes for both Drachenwald and Nordmark. And, and, and our baronies and, and our other... Uh, or, or if you are from another kingdom, write to your crown. Tell them about awesome people. Yes. <laughs> they got wants you to recommend <laughs> uh, recommendation is, is is a hard thing because sometimes you get like tons and sometimes it's a dry land I, yeah I, I've never figured out what makes people recommend or not it's um, unless someone named Stigot goes and do a recommendation drive on Facebook so then you get like, I don't know how many we got too. Uh, the uh, the previous uh, Serbiar uh, uh, was a sitting prince of Nordmark. He got eighty rec recommendations in one evening. <laughs> he thought it was a spam thing, but then he started reading, and it was like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think when I was a princess, I had to ask, please stop, wait, can you wait a week with this? Because I have no time to take this right now. <laughs> well, well, but it, it, I like those. Uh, I'm sorry for it being a bad timing, but I didn't. No, 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 no. no. Uh, but I like, you know, uh, these uh, all of a sudden something happens uh, and it's a good thing for everyone. Uh, as a surprise, I like surprises. So, mm -hmm. but they should be fun afterwards as well. I don't think any crowns will complain that you do a recommendation drive. Uh, there might be crowns like me that had to politely ask, "Could you, could you just wait a week?" <laughs> um, because um, uh, otherwise, we, we, I, I, I was afraid I would miss somebody's uh, yeah. recommendations, but. I think there was some some um, something that happened with the mail, something like that, that I had problem with. But I don't think any crown would be mad for getting recommendation drives. No, but uh, I, uh, regarding the question, also you don't uh, recommendations are awesome. Do them, do them. Uh, but you can also tell them tell what your friends are doing to other friends. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't need to have the filter this is. Uh, you can just tell, have you seen so-and-so's embroidery? They, that's really awesome. Have a look at it. So, um, And don't yeah. forget to tell the people that are doing it that they are awesome because sometimes, yeah. you know, you don't need an award for it. You might no. just need encouragement. No. So just spread the word that people are doing awesome stuff. Yeah. So another question is, what is your last really magical moment in the SEA? Oh, uh, I'm not going to include uh, online on that. Uh, I think, I mean, the last was, uh, that was really, really good. There was coronation in Arne Metze. Uh, uh, the, the knighting of uh, Sir Cario, a uh, very good friend of mine. Uh, I think that was, uh, I, since I had this on, I was able, uh, I was, um, I had the privilege of sitting 
in front of him when he realized what, uh, why he was called up to court. And uh, that's, that was, um, oh. <laughs> it was yeah. a really good moment. <laughs> Look at me getting teary. I just think yeah. about it. Uh, uh, it was, I mean, he. He's a really cool dude and really cool. Uh, well deserved. Uh, he's, um, has all the nightly virtues I cherish. Um, and he worked so hard and done it so well. Uh, it was just a pure joyful moment of seeing his fa face when he realized it. So it was super cool. Yes, I, I can only say I agree. Yeah. Yes, that was. I didn't have the privilege of seeing his face, but yeah. just being there. You, that was one of those court when you said you can almost like feel the electricity. Yeah, in like, there. yeah, because everybody sitting there and, 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 and having so much emotions, um, yeah. good emotions about this, yeah. good kind of electricity. Yeah. And he was surprised. So, oh yeah, he was, he, he, he did not know what was coming. Yeah. What would you like to see more of, of uh, during events? More heraldry um, in general, uh, because that's one of the unique selling points we have in the society. We have a system for it. And um, if you have an unpainted shield, paint it. <laughs> uh, but also dresses, uh, goflons, banners, um, um, that would spend some time on it. It's cool. Uh, mm, it is. Um, practical stuff, um, Axfrom is, is taking um, up speed in Rashomald. Um, it's really, it's good, it's, it's good. And I think everyone that can throw an ax can do ax throwing. So um, uh, that's something I really enjoy. Um, I, I have to interrupt you there and say, yes, I can throw the ax. I'm not sure I can say I can actually hit the target though, because I have tried. Yeah, but uh, let me, yeah, uh, but uh, practice make perfect. And it's, you don't need to compete in stuff. You can just enjoy them. I'm really not the best brewer, but uh, I enjoy doing it. Uh, so sometimes you can do stuff just for the enjoyment of doing it. Uh, I'm not the best dancer, uh, but I really enjoy it. And uh, I have no ambition of being uh, the, the new Michael Jackson in the SA, but uh, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a fun guy. You have such fun expressions. Um, uh, thank you. <laughs> new Michael Jackson in the SA. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see what you get there. I, I am not a dancer. Uh, I like doing it. Uh, I'm not good at it. But so the next event we will dance. Yes. Please. Promise. Cross my heart. Cool. Cool. Yes. And that has actually been one of the things that I think people have mentioned when I have asked them, "What do you want to see more about in the SEA? Yeah, dancing and music. Yeah. Yeah. Because it it does for for me. Uh, it does feel. Uh, a part of that um, kind of, um, I was going to say hallucination, that is the wrong word. Um, the illusion of... Thank you, illusion, not hallucination, illusion. Yeah. Uh, it got to feel that il illusion of being in the medieval times. When this plague is over, over, uh, what do you think we will take with us from, from this dreadful time that has been that uh, the, your online presence uh, affect on how people look at you either if you're not online or you are and that's first one first thing uh, second is if if you're a nice person or not and uh, if you take care of your bodies or if you just do stuff for being in the spotlight uh, so your online presence affect how your friends look upon you. You can do it whatever way you 
prefer, but it affects people's view on you. Yeah. And what we will take on, uh, to take with us as well is that you can learn a lot of stuff and hopefully uh, everyone has learned a new craft and will show them at the, the, when the event starts, you know, uh, all of a sudden you have a master carpenter or <laughs> super embroider or uh, uh, the Michael Jackson of SA dancer or whatever. Um, use the time well. With that said, of course, we do also have people that this has taken so much high toll on them. Uh, so they have kind of stopped crafting instead. And yeah. let's hope that these people can find joy in crafting again when this Excuse me, the expression, but when this shit is over. <laughs> yeah. So we we are kind of planning uh, for for your uh, coronet uh, tourney. We don't yeah. know when it will be, but I know that it will be. Uh, and I know that you wrote in Silversparren, Nordmark's um, yeah. news uh, newspaper, uh, that you were thinking about the tournament. Um, style. What do you say? The... Yeah, um, the, the the rules of the list or yes. how the tournament will be, and you know if you plan something ahead, uh, you can have a pre uh, enjoyment of the thing you are doing. Uh, if you plan to make a trip to an event in in three months' time, you and you book everything for it, you enjoy it a little bit more if you decide early uh, so we will have a matched weapon uh, format and we have uh, we will have uh, five kinds of weapon forms uh, weapon and shield weapon and buckler uh, great swords um, pole arms and two weapons and that and then the order of precedence fighting order of precedence the lowest will decide what you will fight with. So um, someone, you can choose uh, what the higher or fighting order of presence uh, fighter will use for a weapon. Uh, so it's, an, it, it's a way of leveling the, the, the list field a little bit. Yeah, or I was if, yeah. ask that. Is, is this because you want to give everybody more an equal chance? Uh, that's a bonus, uh, but it's also, uh, I had hunted uh, this the war spear fight with uh, Sir Ivan, Sir Dorothea and Tony. Uh, I wanted to meet them on a war field with spear uh, for so many years. I, I was looking at events they were going to and you know that I wanted to meet that uh, three people together in a spear line and fight against them and I finally got it <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, it was years uh, I did tr travel for it as well but they were not at the same events or they didn't um, fight spear and stuff and then all all of a sudden they they decided to do it the double wars one year and i was like uh, i'm sorry i'm not going to fight with you i'm going i have searched for this fight for years so um and you can do the same in the in a cor coronation um tournament mm. uh, for instance if you um have uh, find out that so and so will enter the list uh, because they do that you can get that fight you've been hunting for for years for instance if you like great swords but your opponent never take up a great sword you as a lower ranked in the op uh, can decide to get that fight so uh, for getting uh, you know um those epic moments mm, yeah it's a it's a tool to get epic moments, and I hope it will be some epic moments people have hunted for for years. That's <laughs> that's the key thing, and uh, it's also a bit of challenge for you know uh, the the knights that will enter the tournaments because they don't know what what uh, weapons forms some people will choose, so they can can't just train the ordinary stuff. They it's 
they could get Buckler and Sword and they never played with it. So they cannot just rely on the the thing that they are really good at. They have to yeah. challenge themselves a little bit. Yeah. I like the thought. I really yeah. like the thought. And speaking about fighting, um, I mean, you do a lot of fighting. You have your own uh, YouTube channel now that yeah. speaks a lot about SEA fighting. Yeah. I was at the link on, uh, on it uh, in the description and also up here. Yeah. Um, and uh, what is it with fighting that you find so amazingly fun? Oh, it's a mixture of um, uh, pretty environment, you know. Uh, when I fought Sir Hartman one of the first times, you know, the presence of his gear and every how he acted was really knightly. Uh, so I I get goosebumps from just speaking of it. I don't know if it shows, but I get <laughs> it was an epic moment. Uh, so I got the feel of fighting a knight. Uh, and that was one thing and the, it's like a movement chess in real time uh, someone is yeah. doing something and you have to counter that uh, it's like a dialogue uh, you talk something you can say uh, say something uh, with pressure and then you have to handle it or you can uh, turn it a little bit uh, so it's a, like a dialogue you have to respond to in real time and to trick someone in that or best them or uh, over skill them uh, or under skill them is it's really fun so um it's the whole thing again environment uh, physical part uh, you have to learn stuff um yeah it's the mixture i mean i enjoy watching fighting i am not a sports person uh i am completely uninterested in any kind of sport but for some reason when it comes to heavy fighting in the sea or fencing uh or even archery or or uh, axe throwing i can I, I can sit and watch for a very long time and be totally into it uh so i find this kind of if, if you look at it as a sport uh, I find it really interesting that it's for, for me that's not a sports person I can get so into it and it's if you look closely at it um, you can see people change uh, their body language when they put on their helmet um, mm -hmm. because um, uh, in other um, sports with uh, weapons uh, it's the rules of the game that decide how you should act. Uh, in uh, SA fighting, it's the rules from yourself within. What's your heart? Uh, what's what you want to achieve with your fighting? And some people let that shine through your armor, uh, like uh, like an aura of uh, how they act. Uh, some are not behaving perfectly and some are behaving really well and makes a believable portrait of a, a fighter from the Middle Ages. And I think subconsciously that's what non-fighters sometimes see. They don't even realize it, but they believe what's being portrayed. If you ever uh, have uh, the opportunity to, to, to look at it closely, uh, uh, do that exercise in your brain. How do people change when they put on their armor? Uh, how they walk, how they, where are their shoulders? Uh, how do they act in the list or in the war field for that? Um, so it's, it's super cool to see people change in a good way. Yeah, I, 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 and, I, and I really think you're on to, uh, to something here because I do think that's one of the things I like because I do like the best fights that when I'm watching is the ones where I can see that the people are having a really good time. Yeah. Um, there's no anger, there's no um, stress or anything. People are just genuinely playing even if they are playing with uh, 
thick bunch of <laughs> rattan and uh, it's it's a hard game but you know um i tried uh, naginata kendo uh, steel fighting battle nations uh, style i pri- tried buffer i tried uh, a lot of styles uh, and the fighting experience is the best in sa heavy combat uh, Well, yes, uh, steel looks cooler, uh, but the fighting experience is really, really, really good. I think that is that is good selling point for heavy fighting. <laughs> yeah, because we uh, and our system is safe. So, um, I mean, the best people. Um, Uh, they peak around 45 50 around that because it's so much uh, reading the situation uh, of course it helps you being fit but it's not um, um, a requirement no uh, you no, can't the... be you can't can't be totally out of shape but you don't need to jog every morning and do 200 push-ups every day uh, it's more skill than uh, physics So. Yeah, I mean, with the, the, the few times I have been in armor, uh, which is like when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, uh, <laughs> the I was not fit, and not at all. I mean, I was maybe not as unfit as I am now, but I was still, you know, rather large woman, could not run two kilometers if you so forced me with with a pitchfork um but i was in armor and i had fun and i even won some fights yeah so. good i mean that that's the important stuff yeah so safe and fun that's yeah. and it is fun it's, it's really fun uh and i mean i i haven't been in armor now for for, for ages but um like i said i still in watch uh, i still enjoy watching it and i have Save the very best question for last. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Should I be happy or scared? <laughs> it it depends. How do you think we can recruit more people into our game? Ah. Um, oh. Uh, oh. It's a whole hour. I can talk for this for an. Um, you started uh, with this. <laughs> for an hour for a weeks <laughs> uh, but it boils down to uh, showing them the magic showing them the magic of the society uh, and the magic can be different for different people so uh, be a part of the magic in some way uh, not in a LARP way it's just being a, a good person with cool stuff and nerdy stuff uh, find the nerdiness uh, in people um, that truly enjoy uh, whatever nerdiness or geekiness uh, they like. Uh, And how you do that is by showing that you're doing geeky and nerdy stuff. Um, it's, It's nothing more than that. And Same kind of people recruit same kind of people. So mm. if we want to recruit students, we need students to do the recruiting or st- at least the same age. Um, so I'm really good at recruiting middle-aged men uh, <laughs> that uh, like to do physical stuff. Um, that that's That's what I'm good at recruiting. I don't think you need to look at it uh, as recruiting what you do because just show your passion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Show your passion and then the rest will follow. Yeah. Uh, because um, some people are not used to recruiting and I don't think we should put the pressure on, on people by saying you should do recruiting or everyone should do recruiting. Show your passion. Mm. show your passion online or in real life to your friends uh, just show your passion what you what what's really your passion yeah. within the society 
I just do that. Show your passion. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, I think that is uh, an excellent note to to end this interview on. Show your passion. <laughs> Who cares for that. And thank you so much for being here. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Um, now I'm gonna say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>